not a musician, I'm not a filmographer, I'm not a photographer. I have no other artistic mean of expressing something creative other than doing what I do, which is using genetics to create something new. We live in a place that we tend to see a lot of uh, crops and vegetables being grown, uh, but there's also a backstory behind it. And, uh, there's a lot of work and science behind that that people don't tend to see, but it's the type of work uh, that you do it in silent in a in a lonely way, but is very rewarding in the sense that you are creating something new that benefits humans in one way or another. Most people don't think too much about onion. It is not like a tomato or a pepper or any other fruit that you see out there. We usually buy onions thinking, oh, we don't have any more onions, so we need onions. Because for the most part, we use onions every single day in almost every meal that we consume. It takes two years to generate one generation, and it takes about 10 years in order for us to see a new variety or a new type of onion that we can sell and see it in the market. And even though uh, it seems like a very simple plant, onions are very complex genetics. Uh, a human being has 16 times less DNA than an onion. I travel quite a bit around the globe. Uh, for the most part, I almost visit every continent every year. Uh, and onions are grown in, in all parts of the world. It is the most traded vegetable of the world. And every single cuisine and every single culture uses onions. One of the places that has surprised me the most uh, has to be Turkey, because uh, is one of the centers of origin of onions. That's where you're gonna find the most diversity of the crop. Uh, and they have, and they utilize many wild species of onions for their cuisines. They have onions that are specific for cosmetic purposes. They have onions that are specific for cooking. Uh, they have onions for uh, making uh, different uses that we are not accustomed in the Western world. And they grow in their backyards and they grow in the wild and they go rummaging in the wild and they come back with some onions that you have never seen before. There's some onions that because of the flowers that they produce, uh, they are uh, appreciated for the fragrance. And those flowers are used just like you would use a, a rose to make a perfume. My role is almost as an inventor of new vegetables or inventor of new plants. Uh, and that's the most creative outlet that I know. Once I leave this world, once I leave my profession, uh, those genetics and those new varieties that I help develop are always going to be there. And future generations of plant breeders, when they take over my role, they will be using those genetics. Uh, it means that some of the work that you did in the past can still benefit many people in the future.